This is Biology 241 Anatomy and Physiology with Mrs. Heinze. This is Brandy and Corey looking at the brain model. Uh, we will be pointing out the parts uh, of the brain looking at through the sagittal view. This is the sagittal view of the brain. The frontal lobe is found right in this area here, and it's the front portion of the cerebral hemisphere, and it controls voluntary motor activity and higher mental processing. The parietal lobe is found right in this area right here, and it's like the lateral surface of each cerebral hemisphere. Now the occipital lobe is right down here, and its function is the primary visual area for the eyes. The temporal lobe isn't really seen in this area um, in sagittal view, but it's found in lateral and inferior portions of cerebral hemisphere. Now the central sulcus is right in this area, and it's the groove on the lateral surface. The precentral gyri is found right before it, right in here, and it controls all the voluntary movement. Now the postcentral gyri is found right in here and it receives uh, sensory info from uh, the body. Now the olfactory bulb is pretty difficult to see in the sagittal view, but it's down here more, right in here, and it lies in ventral aspect of frontal lobe. The corpus callosum is all this, right in here, this white stuff, and it's found in the brain between cerebral hemispheres. The septum pellicidum is this, all right in here, and it's found in the diencephalon. Now the fornix is right here, this little thing, and it's next to the corpus callosum and septum pellicidum, right here. Uh, the thalamus is right here and it's found in the direct center of the brain and it relays sensory info from lower part of the brain to proper areas of the cortex. The hypothalamus is right here and it's just it's found just below and in front of the thalamus. The mammillary body is this little thing right here and it's also found in diencephalon and it's involved in regulation of autonomic, autonomic functions. The pineal gland is this little thing right here, and it's near the back, and it's considered a pea-sized endocrine gland. The pituitary gland is right here, this big thing, and it's a growth hormone. Now the choroid plexus is this red pinkish thing right in here and it's located behind the pons in medulla oblongata. The cingulate gyrus is um, this all in here, right here. And it's a fold or bump in the brain. It's superior to the corpus callosum. Now the cerebral aqueduct is sort of this area, right in here. It's sort of hard to see in sagittal view and it's found in the midbrain. It's like a narrow mid midline channel between the third and fourth ventricles. The pons is located, this is the pons right around here, and it's ventral of the brainstem and just above the medulla. And the medulla oblongata is right here, right around this area. The cerebral pundicle is right around here, and it contains many nerve tracts. The arbor vitae is this area right in here where the, with the little white stuff that looks like a tree. The fourth ventricle is all right in here, all along here, and it's located behind the pons and medulla, and it protects the brain from trauma. And I think that's about it that we found on the sagittal view. I hope this helps you, and thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you for listening. Bye.